Hi everyone, welcome back to my AP Art History channel. If you're new here, I'm Kate, an AP Art History student who is helping you and I study for the AP exam. So today we are going to be doing a comparison on the Lands in Stella at Chavin d'Antoire and the Chartres Cathedral. Religion has been a strong influence on art by impacting the way people express their culture. In Peru, we find the Lands in Stella located in the Temple of Chavin d'Antoire, which was built at the junction of two rivers, making it easier for travelers to get there. This temple was a pilgrimage site where people traveled to meet with the shamans because they believed that shamanism had healing powers. The temple was built through a period of 400 years, starting with the old temple in 900 BCE, ending with the new temple in 500 BCE. The temple was made of roughly shaped stones varying in sizes, and outside had a U-shaped sunken plaza used for large gatherings of worship. On the inside, there were various maze-like tunnels with carvings on the smooth stones with representation of their deities. These tunnels had no windows, therefore those that could travel through them used torches, creating a visual effect that enhanced the religious experience. These tunnels lead to the lands in Stella, their god, whom they worshipped. This godlike structure was designed in the shape of a spear and it was an anthropomorphic image, meaning it was partly human with animal characteristics. The art structure was intricate because it combined features of the natural and supernatural world. It had a face with fangs, the hair and eyebrows were snakes, while the fingernails and toenails were claws, giving it a combination of human and supernatural characteristics. Similarly, in France, about an hour from Paris, people come to worship Virgin Mary at the Chartres Cathedral. There are a lot of similarities between the Lands in Stella at Chevin d'Antoire and the Chartres Cathedral. Just like the temple, the Chartres Cathedral was a pilgrimage destination because of a piece of linen known to be worn by the Virgin Mary when she gave birth to Jesus. Just like the Andeans who visited the lands in Stella to find healing powers, these people came to the Chartres Cathedral because of the healing powers they believed the cloth to have. Both the temple and the cathedral used U-shaped floor plans for worship. However, the cathedral was a standard basilica, which was a U-shaped cross floor plan. The cathedral was also reconstructed over 26 years because of a fire that occurred in 1194. It was built using limestone since it needed strong walls to support the weight of the vaulting ceilings. Unlike the temple that was dark with no windows, the cathedral design included beautiful stained glass windows which allowed lots of natural light to enter the chapel. The temple also had a darker and evil perspective on portraying their deities and gods. While the cathedral had an innocent and benevolent approach of showing their gods, specifically the Virgin Mary, because she symbolized to be a protector of danger, the central stained glass work was of Virgin Mary who was sitting on the throne of wisdom, very high up, which is like how the deity in the temple was placed to be 4.5 meters high. Just like the temple, which had drawings on the stone of their deities, the cathedral had scriptures in the royal portal columns from biblical kings and queens. The cathedral also had stained glass throughout depicting passages from the Bible, just like the carved tablets found in the temple depicting ritual scenes. Finally, the Chartres Cathedral teaches people how the surrounding world can lead them to the spiritual path of understanding the divine God. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this comparison and don't forget to like and subscribe.